There was nothing worse than coming in late and having the whole class staring at you. Luckily, several of them were still talking and haven't noticed me yet. This bitch, let me talk to her, bro. Hey, who is this big ass motherfucker? Who are these, twins? Nice. Good thing Miss Gilmore isn't here yet. It looks like Darcy and I escaped a tardy. Better hurry and sit down before she walks in the room. As you take your seat, Darcy talks with Crystal on the other side of the room. Darcy! Hey girl, long time no see! That's Cri Crystal? Alright. Hey Crystal, it's nice to see a friendly face. How have you been? I'm doing just fine. How was the all girls school? It was uh, terrible. Just a bunch of stuck up bitches. So glad to be back here. So I can be around more stuck up bitches. I can only imagine. I don't mind girls, but I need boys too. If you know what I mean. I saw you talking to Emilio. Are you guys still besties? Yep. He's an idiot sometimes, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, he's a great guy. I just wish he would talk to me more. <laughs> Maybe you should st st stop being so fucking weird, Crystal. We all used to hang out when you were around, but when you went away, it was like he did too. I don't think he likes me that much. Oh, that reminds me. Remember how you told me you had a crush on him before I left? Yeah, I, I remember. Well, I mentioned it earlier because I thought he knew and he was like, Huh? She does? I didn't know that. <laughs> really? Yeah, like I said, he's an idiot sometimes. He told me you were being weird and talking about big sausages <laughs> when he did talk to you. And as soon as he said that, a light bulb went on in his head and he realized you were just being a pervert. <laughs> I was wondering why he gave me a weird look when I said he had a when he said he had to go. I just thought he wasn't interested in me, so uh, oop, I gave up. Hmm. So maybe I still do have a chance then. I, I just need to be more forward about it. I think. Uh, okay. Thanks for telling me, Darcy. I think. Uh, why is my nose so fucking itchy? I'm gonna tell you, Christelle, right now. Crystal, Crystal, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I see the girl behind you with tattoos and little pigtails. I'm trying to talk to her. What's her name? What's her name? Come on, tell me, tell me I'm going to talk to her someday. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have told her that. I was just trying to make conversation. Uh, me and my big mouth. Um, Gaping. I'm not sure if Amelia will be happy about that. Uh, to be fair, she has liked him for a long time. I refuse to act like a jealous bitch. On the other side of the room, you start a conversation with Brad. Brad? Oh, Brad. Ah, oh, Brad. You're Brad? Ah, oh, that makes me feel even worse, bro. <laughs> hey, Brad. Did you have a good weekend? Yo, Emilio! Yeah, I had a great weekend. I watched this crazy show about androids called West Worlds. Overhearing this comment, Layla turns a turns around. No. Shit! Damn it! Bro, I thought this was gonna be Layla for a second, man. I'm trying to talk to her. Who is she? Don't tell me she's just some random NPC I'm never gonna interact with. God damn! Oh, did you like it? I don't normally watch shows like that, but my cousin made me watch it. Uh, I ended up binge watching, binge watching all season. Did I like it? She asked. I'll tell you what. Those robots were sexy as hell. Especially that blonde chick. I will bang the shit out of her if I ever got out. Got to do that. Layla starts turning red and immediately turns around. <laughs> uh, this shit is hilarious, bro. Come on, Brad. You don't need to talk like that in front of Layla. Don't you have a filter? Of course I have a filter. It's on my cigarette. You want to see? You want one too, bro? You need a fucking. You want to bomb a fucking cigarette? Anyway, 
Of course I have a filter. I don't, what voice was I doing for him, bro? I don't even know. <coughs> ah, man. I would love to dress the robot up in a cute nurse outfit and then tell her, Oh, Miss Nurse, my balls hurt and I need your help. I need to stick my dick in your ass to kill them. Ugh. Then I would bang her pile driver style in her ass. And when I was done, I would make her clean my dick. You interrupt Brad mid sentence. <laughs> Brad. Brad. Brad! Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Hold up, bro. Do you see her, bro? I'm trying to talk to her. I know I've said it like five times already, but I'm trying to talk to you, Jordi. Yeah, I see your tattoos. I'm trying to look. Hey, Layla, uh, you have a pencil I can borrow? Here. Thank you, Layla, and don't listen to Brad. He, he doesn't know how to talk to women, it seems. It's fine. I'm not a little girl anymore. My mom talks about sex all the time, so I, I'm used to it. It just surprised me a little when I heard Brad. Your mom talks about... I'm not used to boys talking to me about that stuff. Uh, it's alright. Most people usually don't talk like that in public, let alone at school. I know you don't want to hear that. I guess I don't mind, as long as it's not too vulgar. <laughs> hey, uh, you want to work on the upcoming project together like we did last year? <laughs> we got an excellent grade. I think we work well together, what do you think? Should I work on the upcoming project with Layla? I want to say no. But do I? Do I want to say no? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. She, I mean, she's not, she not, she not ugly. I know I gave her a little stupid voice, but she ain't, you know, just take off the glasses. I, you know, I'll say yes. I'm gonna say yes. I want to say no, but I'm gonna say yes. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Sure. That sounds like a great idea. We're a great team. Excellent. Oh, uh, we'll set it up later then. <laughs> You suddenly see something out of the corner of your eye. <gasps> Is that cri Chris Crystal? Crystal? Crystal. Whoa! She's sucking on her pen. Am I? Am I the only one seeing this? Brad. You look around to see. I guess I am. Brad. Oh my god, Brad, I know you see that. Your mouth is wide open, fool. Whoa! I was looking at Brad, I didn't even... Crystal. We in class. Look at that ass. Damn, I never realized how beautiful it was. There's no way he'll get the wrong idea this time. Hehehe. <laughs> I hope this wasn't too much, but he's definitely taking notice now by the look on his face. <laughs> I'm not even sure how I should react to this. I guess I just smile? Oh man, what of you? <clears throat> okay, Bone is coming back. I need to think innocent thoughts. Don't want him at full attention in the middle of class. If she's doing this in class, there's no telling what she'll do outside of it. What a naughty girl. Dude, dude, did you see that? <gasps> Crystal just showed me her ass. It, it was perfect in all its glory. Uh, there was a golden aura around it and everything. Uh, I knew not eating pizza for breakfast anymore would positively impact my life. Uh, I must be getting a nice body already. She totally wants my nuts, Brad. Brad, nah, fool, nah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> nah, fool. This dude. I won't spoil his dream. I didn't expect her to do anything like that. Look at me in the eyes while she's erotically sucking a pen. 
You know how many germs are on that pen? I guess Darcy was right about her. It's so weird those two are friends. Crystal seems like the exact type of girl that Darcy would hate. But she told me that they were childhood friends. <laughs> Miss Gilmore. Whoa! Gimme, gimme, gimme grandma. Okay class, let's quiet down. Sorry I'm late. There was a problem in the office. Man, Miss Gilmore's looking pretty good today. I don't care how old she is. I would- Yeah, yeah, we all know, Brad. Wait. You wouldn't hit it. Bradley, you know I can hear you, right? Save that kind of talk for when you're not in my class. No, I can do- I can do better. I can do better. <clears throat> Bradley, you know I can hear you, right? Save that kind of talk for when you're out of my class. <laughs> No. <laughs> Bradley, you know I can hear you. Brad, Brad, Bradley, 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 Bradley. Miss Gilmore does seem pretty cool to let something like that slide. Darcy was right. Other teachers would have kicked him out of class if they heard that. Shit, dude. That was awkward. <gasps> Lizzie. Okay, that's your name? Lizzie. Don't worry, Brad. I would hit it too. I think mature women are sexy, especially those that look like Miss Gilmore. Lizzie. Fuck. Is Lizzie a lesbian? Uh, her name's Lizzie. Of course she's a lesbian. That's. <laughs> that's so. I'm joking. Come on. Really? For sure. I can't believe she heard me. She has good hearing. You know, for her age. She isn't that old. I think she's in her 50s. Uh, and not everyone has bad hearing when they get older. You should have listened earlier when I told you to filter yourself in class. Okay, class. Let's start by passing your homework up to the front of the class. You look for your homework but can't find it. Shit. I could have sworn I put it in my bag last night. Failing to turn in the second assignment does not look good. I need to stop staying up so late playing video games. Emilio, please pass your assignment up. I didn't see it yet. Uh, sorry, Miss Gilmore. I accidentally left it at home. I, I thought I put it in my bag, but I must have forgotten. I will let it slide this time, but see me after class and sign the latest assessment agreement paper. Assignment. So, huh? Agreement paper? Uh, okay, Miss Miss Gilmore, thank you. All right, class, let's begin today's discussion. Uh, God damn it, I need a better voice for her. Later on in the day, all right, she got some big titties though. And in 2017, Chernobyl was worked on again with a larger enclosure and more debris removal. Nuclear cleanup is scheduled for completion in 2065. What? Does anyone have any questions? The girl sitting in front row, Alyssa, raises her hand. Yes, Alyssa. Is that anything like what happened to the old power plant here in town? That's a good question, but no. It's not. Luckily for us, the accident that happened to our local power plant did not melt the reactor core. There was no radiation contaminating reaching our town. There was some type of explosion, but it, it didn't reach the energy facility. It's a little bit of radiation leak from the research department, but it was in tiny doses. And it was contained. It's, it's not easy listening to this, and the only thing I can think of is dad. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Alyssa raised her hand again. Right, great, Alyssa. My mom said it wasn't an accident. She heard that they were trying to cover up a scandal or, or something like that. Now, Alyssa, let's not start rumors. Uh, the official version released to the public is that they were conducting a test in the research department when there was an explosion. This is a sensitive subject because many lives were lost that day. I know for a fact that there are people in this class who lost loved ones, so we need to be considerate of others, Alyssa. Y yes, Miss Gilmore, I'm sorry. Wait, that was 
dad's department. He was one of the physicists doing research. Was my dad involved? No. What, what am I thinking? As Miss Gilmore said, it's, it's just rumors. Dad wouldn't be involved in some sort of scandal. This is my first time hearing about this, though. Stephanie has never mentioned any of it. Maybe I should talk to Alyssa and see what she knows. I'm curious now. Okay, class, that's all for today. Don't forget to start planning your project. You are dismissed. I guess it's time to talk to Miss Gilmore and sign the paper. Hey, Miss Gilmore, uh, you need something uh, about signing papers? You said something about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Emilio, grab a chair and uh, in the back and sit down next to me for a second. Uh, so, how are you doing? And how are things going at home? Uh, everything is good, Miss Gilmore. Uh, sorry about the homework. I had it done. I must have left it uh, on my desk after I finished it. I thought I put it in my bag, but it must have slipped my mind. All right? All right? I know you, you think I'm lying. and be like, oh, I totally did it. <laughs> Whatever. I totally did it. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. It's okay. I know you're smart. I've seen your task scores. <laughs> you just need to be more responsible and set a good example for the rest of the class. Especially Darcy. She talks about you all the time. I know she looks up to you. Now about this... I farted. Now about this paper. It's just an agreement that I will give you a free A plus on an assignment. Wait, what? It's an agreement that I will give you a free A plus on an assignment, but once it's signed twice, I will no longer let it slide. And those assignments become zeros. Okay, Gilmore, I see you. She like all or nothing, bro. Whoa, thanks, Mrs. Gilmore. <laughs> no need to thank me. This is for all my students, not just you. Uh, and we're, we're not in class anymore. You can just call me Jackie. I feel like you're part of the family anyways. Uh, as much as Darcy talks about you, Jackie. I ain't gonna lie, I don't like your name. <laughs> I'm glad she's back in town. It feels like she's been gone forever. She told me she was going to your house this morning. Having her back home sure makes me feel young again. <laughs> I feel bad for Darcy. Her mom doesn't work or anything. She just stays in the basement all day on the computer. Darcy says she has some kind of phobia uh, and will rarely leave the house. And because of that, they both stay with Darcy's grandma. She will definitely do that to you. She makes me feel like a kid again. I mean, I'm still young, but you know what I mean. Yeah, she's a trip, alright. She reminds me of myself when I was younger. So, you two sexually active, right? Huh? So, you two sexually active, right? I hope you're using protection. Uh, I'm not sure if she's on the pill or not. I should probably set up a doctor's appointment for her. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> you know, Grandma Gilmore, Gigi, Jackie. You know, Jackie, my girl Jackie, what's up? <laughs> what is you talking about? What? Um, no, we're, we're just friends. We don't have uh, that kind of relationship. She's just like Darcy, just blurting out whatever comes to her mind. Oh, okay. She said the same thing to me, but I thought she was lying because she had this slight smile on her face when she said it. Unless both of you are lying to me. No, I'm not lying. We're really not. Uh, relax, Emilio. I'm just screwing with you. <laughs> Doesn't matter either way. I, I was doing far more than that when I was younger. All right. All right. Gigi's a freak, y'all. Yeah. Grandma Gilmore's a freak. Uh, freak -a -leak -a. What's far more than sex? Actually, it was around college time when... Things got crazy. <laughs> I was a late bloomer. But once I got that first taste of pleasure, oh boy, I wanted sex all the time. I even did it in the... Uh, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Maybe I should change the subject and ask her if she knows anything about what Alyssa was saying earlier. 
She seems knowledgeable about these things. Miss Gilmore, Gigi, can I ask you a question? Jackie, remember? And yes, of course, you can. Yes, uh, Jackie, uh, do you know anything about what Alyssa was saying earlier about some kind of, uh, scandal at the power plant? Okay, listen. I don't like to spread false information about things I'm not sure of, uh... What I will tell you though, as a woman of science with vast experience in the field, I can tell you that what's being reported doesn't add up. Now that doesn't mean there was a scandal or cover up, it could just be an inaccurate reporting. Who knows, uh, maybe the supervisor was banging an intern and neglected his duties. And the town didn't want to be laughed at, so they covered it up. My point is, you shouldn't worry about such things. We may never know what happened there, and it will not change anything now. Dwelling on the past will only bring you more pain. When I say this, I'm speaking from my own experience. I have lost loved ones in the past and was consumed by it. It almost destroyed my life. Anyways, let's change the subject. How's Tiffany doing? Stephanie, my girl Stephanie. She's pretty good now, just working and stuff. That's good, I'm glad to hear that. It must have been terrible losing your father and her sister at the same time. I'm glad it didn't destroy her, hold up. Yeah, it took her years and years, but she seems like the old Stephanie now. She doesn't mope around all day anymore. Hey, Jackie, did you know my dad when he was alive? I knew who he was, but didn't know him personally. People that did would always say how smart he was. In fact, I heard people call him the mad scientist because of his vast knowledge in this eccentric and his eccentric personality. That sounds like dad, all right. I remember him being so passionate about inventing things and working on projects. I only met him once or twice. But boy, was he charming. Very handsome guy, too. Now that I think about it, you look so much like him, Emilio. Whoa. She places her hand down and lightly caresses your leg as she says this. Hey, Gigi. <laughs> I already got a boner in class once. I don't need another one, please. Um... <laughs> That's funny. Tiffany said the same thing earlier. Well, she's not wrong. You definitely inherited his looks. And you're smart just like him. But you need to apply yourself and stop spending so much time playing computer games. How, how do you know I play games on the computer? Did you forget that Darcy lives with me and talks to me like every day? Even she showed me a couple of those porn games you guys play. All right. What the fuck? Darcy, come on. Uh, you gonna expose me to little old Gigi right here, bro? Not Gigi, no, I'm, I'm a, a disgusting freak, bro. Damn it, Darcy. She can never keep her mouth shut. <laughs> what? She likes the ones with female protagonists that you corrupt into a slut. I played one with her one night and it was actually pretty fun, I must say. Playing a porn game with her grandma? She never told me about that. But ev with everything in life, moderation is the key. Knowing when to do your work and when to enjoy your leisure time. Can I just sign the paper and leave, Miss Gilmore? I, I don't know why we're talking so much. I've I missed like 20 minutes of lunch already. Just make sure to get your priorities straight and do things that would have made your dad proud. Like I mentioned, you might end up just as smart as him. Maybe more handsome too. She's doing it again. Um, she's staring at me like she's looking into my soul. Coming. That sure was getting weird. I am unsure if that knock was a good was good or bad timing. Miss Gilmore goes to the door but doesn't find anyone there. Stupid fucking kids. Doing those pranks again. Just wait until I find out who Hmm, whoa. <laughs> Pardon my language. I hate being interrupted when I'm trying to have a conversation with someone. Uh, anyway. We got a little carried away with the time, but it was nice talking to you. 
Yes, Miss G- uh, I mean Jackie. It was nice talking to you as well. If you see Darcy, uh, tell her she has to come home before dark and help me with something in case she forgets. Okay, I will let her know uh, if she comes over. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye, Amelia. I 